Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for this week's video. So this week we are going to be working on an illustration just in time for Easter and we're going to be working on a hair. So I've chosen this in particular because I like the shape and I really like the um, detail we can get with the eye and the whiskers as well. So. I will start on the sketch and then we'll head into layering with watercolour. So yes, the eye looks quite scary. <laughs> The way that I work is I don't focus too much on the under sketch, so this is just a rough um, outline just so I can see where I'm going. And for this I'm going to be using a mop brush. These are really good as you'll see for layering down a lot of watercolour. With watercolour I usually start off lighter and then gradually go darker, which you'll see as we move along the video. Here I'm using the wet on wet technique which is applying a, another colour onto a wet colour. Once this dries it gives it a really really nice marbly effect. Moving on to a smaller brush, this is where I will add the details such as the eye. Moving on to adding more layers of colour, again I'm staying with a smaller brush just so we've got that texture of the fine hair coming through. Back to the mop brush, um, as I said before, it's all about layering, so this is a really good way of getting really big areas of colour. So here I am using the smaller brush again just to try and get that really really nice fine hair detail down. This is quite time consuming so I'll let you watch and I'll catch up with you shortly.
for those who wish to know this is a mole skin watercolor sketchbook i really like the texture and it dries the water really really quickly as well so if you're interested go and get yourselves one you will not be disappointed For those who are interested, this is a palette of Daniel Smith watercolours. I really, really love these colours. They're so pigmented and they've got a huge range. I do use others, but I'm really sticking with Daniel Smith at the moment. And now going in with the finer details with my mechanical pencil just to really make a few areas stand out. Moving on to a pencil, a coloured pencil I should say, this is just to really bring out the texture of the paper. As you can see, I'm shading in sideways, so I'm not using the point of the pencil. And now we're on to my favorite part, which is the whiskers. So I'm just using some acrylic ink for this with a very, very, very fine brush, just to add that detail and make them stand out. Using the same acrylic ink, just to add a few more hair, <laughs> yes, excuse the pun, hair highlights, just to really make it pop. making the whiskers nice and squiggly and a little bit messy. 